So here's an interesting question I've been asked. Should I buy a short lease flat? Now, a lease is years and years long, but if it gets under 80 years, you will struggle to find a mortgage lender that will lend on that. The other thing to consider is that as your lease gets lower than 80 years, if you want to buy a lease extension, you'd have to pay something called a marriage value. So what that means is there's a significant difference between the value of the flat when the lease is 80 years or longer or whether it's shorter. So you have to pay quite a lot of money to the freeholder to apply for a lease extension if it falls under 80 years. So be careful of this. You ideally want to buy a long leasehold flat with longer than 80 years remaining, because if it's above 80 years remaining, then the process to purchase a lease extension is far cheaper. You only have to pay off a couple of legal fees and the remaining ground rents on the, yeah, say, 85 years remaining. So it's much cheaper to buy a lease extension. And once you buy the lease extension, you get another 90 years and your ground rent goes to zero. So happy days. So in summary, should you buy a short lease flat? Well, note that you'll have to pay cash for it, most likely, because there's only a very few number of mortgage lenders that will lend sub 80 years. Um, and secondly, it your audience of potential buyers, if you want to resell the flat, dwindles, mainly because they can't get a mortgage. So you're basically only looking to sell to cash buyers. So should you buy a short lease flat? Well, it is an investment opportunity. You can buy it extend the lease and sell it at a higher price, but there's a lot of work, effort, legals involved, and you've got to pay for an empty property in the interim. So do your sums, see if it's worthwhile for you.